So you guys heard me talk about thresholds with dogs and stimulations. And so my neighbors are down there and they're out moving around. And um, Gemma has never really, I've never really worked with her with this. Do you see that little sound, that little oof sound? That's just like an alarm. And there's another little one. So I'm, I may be over the edge of being too close for her threshold right now. But you guys notice the ears. Right, and there's a little wrinkle on the top of the forehead. They're staring, there's listening. Uh, so if I say her name, Gemma, Gemma. See how I don't really get any reactions, so I'm gonna move back a little bit. But then I'm gonna swing back forward. See, they're just not with me right now. This is a teachable moment. This is more important than going through the stuff with the dogs, the walk. The walk is very important, but. Ah. So now one of the tractors has started. So just saw a lick of the lips. Nose is twitching a little bit, which is better because we want her to be investigative, curious. That's good. That's movement. That's her moving away. That was good. Hard to balance my walking stick in the camera and the dogs here, so be patient with me. May, and I just have May tethered to my belt because she's been so good walking. So, I'm gonna start moving a little forward here. I'm gonna stop. See when she's looking up at me, her, see, so she's not as, as engaged. So, more engaged in the scent that's over here. We've had some deer around, so very well could be what's catching their scent or their mind right now. <laughs> nice little check-in with me there. This is better. Softer face, softer head. Ah, ah. You can get your butt right back. Thank you. And oh, nope. May is very interested, so I'm using my stick just to corral at the moment. So this is the point that you have to work with your dogs. 